Amazon is finally launching its wide array of internet services in India and it launched the Prime some time back and we also got the Prime video services and now we have the Amazon Fire TV Stick. The Fire TV Stick is basically an HDMI dongle that makes your dumb TV smarter. Without wasting time, let's get started with the unboxing. Using my mini Swiss knife to cut through the Amazon packaging which is excellent as usual. Since I'm getting impatient, I'm just gonna tear off the wrapper now. The Fire TV stick box is relatively compact and has just one single layer of plastic around it. The front of the box has textured buttons and the stick itself and a list of the apps that are currently supported. The rear of the box emphasizes on some of the key features of the Fire TV stick. The Fire TV stick is based on Android and has a quad-core processor from MediaTek and plays 1080p 60 frames per second video content. We will talk about the specifications in depth in our review very soon. TV stick is priced for Rs 4000 and has been made in China. You don't need a Swiss knife to open the Amazon Fire TV stick but I used one anyway. Let's go ahead and pull the tab. On lifting the tab, you are actually confused as to what the product is because it's not glamorous, it's just a dongle that can do a lot for your TV. Bottom side houses the remote and the stick itself. Let's pull out the remote and have a look at what it looks like. The 2017 Fire TV stick includes a voice remote which is known as the Alexa remote in foreign markets. The Fire TV stick itself looks like an old pen drive. Amazon has supplied two AAA Amazon basic batteries for the remote. The TV stick needs external power to work but I managed to connect it to my TV. Those of you who don't want to do that can use the included micro USB to USB cable. Next we have a warranty card and a quick start guide printed on a great quality glossy white paper. Amazon has included an HDMI adapter for those customers who do not have access to their HDMI ports. Voice remote has an excellent in-hand feel and the buttons are really tactile and made of rubber. Wipe up from the back to insert the two AAA batteries. Finally, let's move on to the main hero, the Amazon Fire TV stick itself and it's not too impressive to say the least. Customers are gonna buy it for its features and not for its plain rectangular design. Ongol is still reasonably built but it's made in China. Amazon could definitely have included a gold-plated HDMI port. That almost covers everything about the unboxing experience. Let's now go ahead and get started. All you need is an HDMI port, a power adapter and Wi-Fi to get set up. If you have inaccessible rear HDMI ports, then you might need to use the extender. Luckily, my TV had side-mounted HDMI ports. However, for optimum performance, Amazon recommends that you use the extender anyway. You are supposed to use the power adapter, but I connected the Fire TV stick to the TV and yes, it did boot with that. The setup process needed me to enter the language and I chose English India. And I got the dreaded USB port warning, but I decided to go ahead with it anyways. Next, it asked me to add my Wi-Fi network and the range was very good. Even the network on the basement was detected by the Amazon Fire TV stick. It took nearly 3-4 to four seconds to get connected to the Wi-Fi network. The stick then started checking for updates with the Amazon server. And to my surprise, the TV stick automatically configured itself with our Amazon account. Parental control setup popped up next. Amazon decided to bore me with a commercial. And yes, that took me to the home screen and I was slightly upset because of a small technical glitch that did not show me content from Amazon Prime. The glitch continued so I decided to move to the app section to see if the Fire TV stick was actually connected to the internet. And yes, I could see all the apps available for download including popular ones like Ghana.com, Hotstar and I decided to download quite a few. This is the overall user interface of the Amazon Fire TV Stick. I'll shortly be making a full review where I'll cover all of these experiences on the Fire TV Stick. A quick restart fixed the technical glitches that I was facing and I could see all the Amazon Prime movies and TV shows on rebooting. A friend of mine told me that the Amazon Fire TV Stick will perform brilliantly in searches thanks to the amount of R&D done by Amazon on the Indian accent. So I put in one voice search. Shahrukh Khan. And yes, the results were very impressive and Amazon Fire TV Stick quickly pulled up all its results from the Amazon Prime Video section. 
We already have a lot of launch offers from Amazon, including Airtel giving you 100 GB of data, U Broadband giving you 240 GB of data for three months, Eros now offering a subscription for three months, and Ghana.com giving you free ad-free music for six months. Those are the current launch offers that we have. The Fire TV Stick surely seems like an impressive device to have, and I'll be thoroughly testing it in a couple of days. So do stay tuned for the full review.